This is the Camco RV screen door crossbar install that we're going to install on our Flagstaff E Pro 19 FBS. This is supposed to be a universal fit setup and based on the YouTubes I, I've watched, uh, it's a little bit different than what the the instructions say, but I'll we'll, I'll tell you where the differences are. This is what comes in the box. There's the template that's supposed that helps in, with the installation, the universal crossbar itself that's adjustable, a package of one eighth inch screws that are black that will match the install on the door in the instructions. The way they make this crossbar universal is that these end caps slide on to the end of this tube and you adjust it according to the width of the, of the door and then use the two one eighth inch screws to, to lock it on to the main crossbar. That's what the template is supposed to help with, but the template tends to not be the most easy way to use it. So a suggestion that a lot of people have made is to attach one side, get a rough estimate on one side, and then lock in the other side. I'll show you how to do that as we move, as we go along with the install. Well, the first thing you want to do is try to get this on the strongest part of the door, which would actually be this part. Part of the problem with doing that though is, is that the, the screws, you can't, won't fit on that part. So you're going to have to go just to the outside of that. It, it, it makes sense and you have to watch out that you don't go over this edge, otherwise you'll hit when you close. So it's gotta be lined up there. Some people have suggested going a little bit higher, mounting it at about that height, maybe an inch or so above, um, or down to this this height. Either, either way will work. If you have it at this height, it makes it a little bit harder because when your fingers go to wrap around the bar, it won't work as well. So probably having it so that it's it's lined up there is going to be best. That way you get your fingers in between the screen and the handle when you need to close it. Um, you need to make sure that it's that you're level on both sides and so having some way some good guide to help you see where you are is is best and making sure that 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 is level at that point is is probably the best bet there just just above this crossbar because this is going to give you the biggest biggest support across the unit this is the tools you're going to need to um install this crossbar you're going to need a couple clamps to hold the handle parts on as you're drilling the holes in the frame uh, a drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit a sharpie and a screwdriver we really don't recommend using a, a a power driver to put the screws in because it's it's very thin metal that you're going to go be going through so the first thing I do is I line up the handle where I want it on the door. You can see we lined it up right even flush with this edge right here and then clamp it into place. You can see that I clamped it so that this is going to be even. You don't want to, the, the, the instructions say use a level, but if you, if your trailer is not sitting level at the moment, like mine is, using a level is just not going to do the trick for you. So by doing it this way and just using a, a reference point and you learn this, you know, find something that's already square that you want to be square to because you'll be a lot better then. You can see how my hand is able to go around and, and have room to fit my fingers around this. And this will be true of the whole handle as we go out. 
So now the next thing I will do is mark where I want to drill those holes. And I'll use that's what I'll use the Sharpie for. So the next thing you do is you actually drill the holes through. Now in order to to have the screws go all the way through, you're going to have to go through both layers, and I don't know if that'll pick up on this camera very well. Let's see if it'll focus. There's two layers of uh, in the door here. The light won't let it focus probably, but there's two layers here. You can see my fingers on one and then there's another one. You have to go through both, but you don't want to go all the way through. And you have to drill these one eighth hole inch holes there. And you can see how I've got those drilled in there. Then you do the same thing on the other side. You line it up again, lining up flush to this edge right here trying to make sure that you've got the same clearance that you did before and again lining up on this edge and then we'll drill the holes the 1 8 inch holes through the two the two layers you can actually see the two layers I was talking about better here you want to drill through this and this and then that that way the screws which aren't very long as you can see here are the screws will go through those more easily. The prime purpose of this template was to help you lay out the size of the crossbar so that you would know where to, to put the holes and handles to hold it in place. What I found is gonna work easier is I went ahead and clamped the handles in place where I want them and I'll, I'll put small little Sharpie marks right here and right here. And then I'll, it'll make, and then I'll take the, the bar off and drill the holes to make it easier to, to put those screws in that the screws will actually go in back here on the back side where my finger is back here to, to, um, to hold the, this this crossbar in place. So basically, I've got it lined up with the with the holes that I drilled earlier in both sides. And I've got I've got this set up. So now I'll like I said I will just put a small little sharpie mark here, small little sharpie mark here that will be very barely visible. And in that way I can I'll know where to line it up to to make the the, the next holes that I need to drill in. I'll line up, I made these Sharpie marks here and I'll line this handle up with there. And then I will drill my hole, my 1 8 inch hole in each, each of these and, and put the screw in. As you can see, once you put the screw in, this 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 can't be pulled off it's nice and nice and sturdy you can see right there is my sharpie mark that i used as my as my guide and then there's the screw that i put in this is after i drilled the hole i'll do the do, do the other side over here again i have a sharpie mark this is the hole i'm going to use for my alignment and then i'll drill i'll drill my hole in there See, I've got the the hole drilled on, drilled in there now, and I'll just use I'll just put this screw in there. Okay, now I'm going to finish finish the install. I've got the handle up and in place, in line with the holes again. I put my clamps back on to hold it in place. You can see I got my alignment there on both sides looks good there and now we'll just take the screws the 1 8 inch little screws and put those 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 in place 
One key that I learned from another video that I was watching on, on doing this was to go ahead and get all four of these screws put in so that if you need to make any slight adjustments, it's easier to do before they're all locked in place. So I, I went ahead and do that and did that. So now I can, now I've got all four screws in the holes and it makes it just easier to, to work with anything. And I'm not having to hold things. I could go ahead and take the clamps off now and everything would be fine. Camco, oh, this has been the install of the Camco screen door crossbar. It's really designed just for closing the screen door primarily like this. Makes it nice and easy to close it. It's nice and sturdy once you have it on there. You can see that your hand fits in there nicely. It's at a comfortable height. You can just open it, open it like that. It's not made, it's not made for actually closing the full door since the lock on the full door is there. But you can pull the full door. Make sure you pull it out from this side, from the outside. That's gonna be the side that needs to be, that tends to be a little bit stronger. And that's, that's all there is to it. Not pretty easy, took me about 10 minutes after not including filming time to, to, to do this. Uh, basically drill six holes, get your measurements right, and you're done. If you found this, this video uh, helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks and see you next time around. Fly high, travel far.